Good morning, firsties. Happy Tuesday, May 12th. That means your date today is 5-12-20. It is a day with normal tasks. There are six of them. Your mom might choose to do five or maybe four or three. I don't know. That's up to her, not you, but I will tell you what all of them are so that you know what's coming. Your first task is handwriting. After you put your name at the top, here's what it says. This week, there are a few more interesting characters to learn about. It's amazing to see all that we have from the Greeks. So you've got some nice capitals. You've got a capital I, capital T, capital G, okay? The word characters, which has a CH. Now, I don't mean imaginary characters. I mean interesting people from history. And we're going to have several of them, okay? So that's task one. Task two is spelling words. Now, this is your last list because we're doing some other projects. I hope that you practice these every day, but if you don't, that's okay, just give it your best shot and you can always keep working on them tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and next week if you need to. So this is, again, the ow sound, okay? Ow sound. Now, your words are how, now, bow, plow, like you plow a field. So if you see O-W says ow. And then these are some trickier ones. Tower, shower, flower, so those are all similar, and then powder, okay? So you've got that ow sound, and then these four also have the er sound at the end, which is er. Those are your spelling words this week, okay? Ow sound. Now, the ow sound can be tricky, not only because it can be spelled two ways, ow and ou, but ow can make another sound. So your next job is actually this which is sorting out if O-W says ow or O like a bow, okay? So you've got this page, and you should have a page that has these eight words. You're going to need to cut these apart, okay? And then glue them on the right side, the correct side. So here's what I always like to do with an O-W word. I read it ow first, and if that does not make sense, then I read it O. So let's try k ow cow. Cow makes sense. So I would cut out cow and I would glue it on the ow side over here, okay? With the guy with the poking thumb, ow. Now let's go over here and try this one. Shh, ow, shall. Doesn't work, let's try oh, shh, oh, show, like going to a show. So that one I would cut out and put on the bow side. Okay, spoiler alert, you should have four on each side. So if you get one side that has too many, one of them is in the wrong spot. When you are sounding out a word, make sure it actually is a real word, okay? Shall is not a word, so you can't do that. So make sure you read it with the ow sound. If that doesn't make sense, try the o sound, okay? Four on each side. They're not on the right side right now. You need to cut them apart. All right, that's job three. Job four is one that maybe your parents will let you skip, maybe not. I think it's fun because you get to make silly sentences. So. You get to do five of these if you choose to do this task, okay? What you need is to pick one of each color of words. So maybe you have these words from before that you colored and you cut them up and you have them in a bag and that's perfect because then you can reach in that bag and pull out one of each color. I'm just gonna close my eyes and point, okay? Or I'll just look at you while I do it, how about that? All right, I got large, that's my adjective. I got school, so my story is gonna be about a, long, a large school and cry. Oh, the large school cried because the children were gone. That can be my sentence. So you can write it on the back. If you cut yours apart, you can get a new page. So I'm just gonna write mine on the bottom. The large school cried, oops, because the children were gone. <clears throat> All right, the large school cried because the children were gone. So that's one sentence. Then I would go back and I'd pick three new words. Silly, that's my adjective. House, that's my noun. And sing is my verb. The, ha the house sings a silly song. If you have a singing house, that's awesome. The house sings a silly song. Okay, so you get to make 
five of those if you choose to do this activity. You need one of each kind of word, and then you put them together to make a sentence. Your fifth job is reading, and then your sixth job is just greater than, less than. So you have your hundreds numbers. If you don't have this anymore, you can just write down a bunch of numbers on a piece of paper, okay? Doesn't matter what they are. Just write them down, and then we're going to pick two at a time to see which one's larger and which one's smaller. So I've got a piece of paper that I folded in half. I'm going to point to one. I got 422. Wrote that on one side. And then I'm going to point to another. I got 419. Ooh, these are close. Now, if you look at these, maybe you can tell right now they're both in the 400s. So we don't even need to look at the hundreds. We just need to look at the tens and ones. What's larger, 22 or 19? 22. So my alligator would eat this, and we would say that 422 is greater than 419. Let's do some more. 900, it's a pretty big one. 167. Now maybe you need to draw the hundreds, tens, and ones, but if you look at this, look, 900, 167. Which one's bigger? 900's way bigger. So once again, the alligator's going that way. 900 is greater than 167. You should be able to fill this page, maybe even the back of it, 10 or 20 times so that you're really paying attention to those numbers. If you're getting sick of using these numbers, like I said, you could make up your own big numbers. You could even go into the thousands and play and see who's larger, okay? So quick recap, job one, handwriting. Two, those new spelling words with the ow sound. Three is that ow and o page. Four, making your own sentences, do five of them. Five is reading, and six is greater than less than. That's it for today. I love you. God bless you. See you tomorrow.